Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace a blower cover grill in this Frigidaire range vent hood, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 2.5 mm Allen wrench, a 7 mm nut driver, and needle nose pliers. For this procedure, you will need to fully uninstall the vent hood. Before you begin, be sure to turn off the power supply to the hood. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the left and right side screws, securing the upper chimney to the upper mounting bracket. Slide the chimney down into the lower chimney. Then have an assistant help to lift both sections up to detach them from the lower mounting bracket. Detach the venting from the damper. Unthread the two screws securing the junction box cover. Remove the cover and note the orientation of the power and grounding wires. Untwist the wire nuts to separate the power wires. Use the 7 mm nut driver to unthread the nut to release the grounding wire. Pull the wires out of the junction box. Now unthread the four mounting screws securing the canopy glass using the 2.5 mm Allen wrench. With the screws unthreaded, have an assistant help you to remove the glass. Pull the right side lever down to release the grease filter. Fully unthread the two lower mounting screws securing the appliance to the wall. Next, loosen the two upper mounting screws. With the screws loosened, you can lift the vent hood up and out to remove. With the front of the hood facing down, set it on a towel or blanket. Now unthread the two rear outside screws, securing the stainless steel panel to the cabinet. Next, unthread the two sets of nuts and bolts in the middle. Now unthread the eight screws securing the panel to the base of the appliance.
Rotate the two light bulbs counterclockwise to remove them from their holders. You can now detach the panel. Unthread the screws to release the selector switch assembly so you can set the panel aside. Now rotate the two lamp holder assemblies to release them from the cabinet. Unthread the two left side screws securing the blower assembly. Unthread the two right side screws as well. Next, unthread the two screws securing the blower assembly bracket to the rear mounting plate. Use the 7mm nut driver to unthread the nut to release the blower assembly grounding wire. Maneuver the blower assembly out of the cabinet so you can reach the cover grill you're replacing. Now unthread the three screws securing the appropriate blower cover using the Phillips head screwdriver. Flip the cover over to access the tabs securing the grill. Then use the needle nose pliers to depress the tabs to detach the old grill from the cover, if still intact. To install the new blower cover grill, Align it on the cover and snap it into place. Reposition the cover on the blower assembly and thread the three screws to secure. Reseat the blower assembly in the cabinet. Align the blower assembly grounding wire on the cabinet post. Slide on the washer. Then thread the nut to secure. Fully position the blower assembly and thread the two screws to secure the assembly bracket to the rear mounting plate. Thread the two left side screws. Thread the two right side screws as well. Align the two lamp holder assemblies with the holes in the cabinet.
and rotate both to lock them into place. Realign the selector switch assembly in the stainless steel panel and secure it with the screws. Reposition the panel and rethread the eight inner mounting screws. Thread the two sets of nuts and bolts in the middle to secure the panel to the cabinet. Rethread the two outside screws as well. Replace the two light bulbs by inserting the terminals into the holders, then rotate clockwise. Reinstall the range vent hood by aligning the rear slots over the upper mounting screws threaded into the wall. Partially tighten the screws to maintain an even gap between the wall and cabinet. Rethread the lower mounting screws. Reinstall the grease filter by aligning the left side tabs with the slots in the hood. Then pull the lever to align the right side. Before you reinstall the canopy glass, confirm the hood gasket is intact and aligned. Reposition the glass. Thread the four screws to secure. Avoid over tightening the screws. Feed the power and grounding wires through the hole in the junction box. Secure the two grounding wires with the nut. Join the black wires and use the wire nut to twist the wires together. Do the same to join the white wires together. Replace the junction box cover and secure it with the screws. Attach the venting to the damper. Now align the bottom edge of the lower chimney in the groove between the canopy glass and blower housing cabinet.
Hook the lower chimney slots on the lower mounting bracket tabs. Lift the upper chimney section up so it's flush with the ceiling. Then thread the screws to secure the chimney to the upper mounting bracket. Turn the power supply back on and the range vent hood should be ready for use. 